Okay, I'm on page 28 of our spiral, so let's get that labeled. And we're going to title this Rates And you can make a notation. This goes with 4-2 in your textbook. So there will be some problems we do in 4-2. Uh, but first, we're going to do a group activity after I show you this today. So a little bit of vocabulary first. What is a rate? It is a ratio that compares two quantities, or let's just make that an easier vocabulary word, two things measured in different units. One you guys have probably heard before is MPG. That's a rate. What does MPG stand for? Miles per gallon. What are our two different units here? Miles and gallons. So that's a rate. A unit rate It's a rate, that means that it, it has this entire definition up above, is still part of it, but a unit rate is a rate that has a denominator of one. So an example of how we would take a rate and make it into a unit rate, if I kept track of my miles for my car and I, wrote, I drove 288 miles and I used six gallons of gas, that would be a rate. But now if we take our calculator and we divide 288 by six, what do we get? So then we end up with 48 miles per one gallon. And so you've heard this in car commercials, right? They'll say it gets, wow, 48 miles per gallon would be an amazing car. I think my car gets about 24 miles per gallon. you would hear it shortened to 48 MPG, which is really just saying for every gallon of gas you put in this car, which would be an amazingly efficient car, you can drive 48 miles, okay? So when we're dealing with unit rates, we're trying to get the bottom number, the denominator to be one, okay? So I'm gonna put you guys into partners and you're going to get some pictures. I borrowed these from Mr. Forsythe. A couple of years ago, he went up to the grocery store. What's the grocery store up here called? Tukwila? Charles. What is it? Charles. Oh. Well, it was something else when he took these. It, he took trading these. Trading. It was the trading company, right. Um, and if you notice, this is two different sizes of life cereal. And when you go to the grocery store, sometimes they tell you the unit rate on the sticker on the shelf, but not always. So here's some things I want you guys to look at. You're gonna try to decide which is a better deal by figuring out its unit rate. 
So we'll practice with this. This first box of life cereal, I don't know if you guys can see it very clearly, it is 21 ounces and it's $5.59. When we're trying to figure out unit rates, you always want to put the money on the top and the other unit on the bottom. So we're going to take this one and we're going to divide $5.59 divided by 21 ounces. And I just made a rate there. I made a ratio that's comparing two different things that are quantities. The other one is a 15 ounce package for how much money? 4.99. 499. So let's set up our second ratio. 4.99 and 15 ounces. And now take your calculators and divide 559 divided by 21. And for this one, I got 27 cents for one ounce. How much are we going to get for the other one? This one is 33 cents for one ounce. So which one's the better deal? Yeah, and this is how you guys are going to write this on your paper. You're going to have to identify what you had. So you're going to say the blank size of blank is a better deal. And what would I fill in on this? Which size of the life cereal is a better deal? Mm -hmm. The 21 ounce size of life cereal is a better deal. Okay, so again, you're gonna do this with partners. I've got lots of different products for you guys to compare. You're gonna make a rate first for both sizes and then you're gonna divide them so that you can see which one is the best deal and you're going to complete a sentence for each one telling us what is the best deal. Okay?